everybody, Sander here, and I'm gonna explain you all about remapping keys on your Wooting keyboard. So let's go. When you open Wootility, head over to the Remap tab on the left. On the left side, you will find a selection of presets that you can assign to your keyboard with a single click. But the real power lies in the character selection on the right. At first you will see basic characters, but there's a lot more available. Click on the drop down menus below to explore your options. So the extended characters tab includes modifier keys, arrow keys, afro and much more. The functions tab contains function keys like opening the file browser, adjusting brightness, fn keys and other shortcuts. The profiles tab is where you pretty much manage all your profile settings, where you can just swap over to different profiles or cycle through them if you want to. The media and audio controls tab offers pretty much controls for media playback and well audio <laughs> nothing more really and the mouse tab provides well not surprisingly options for mice. So let's start remapping some keys. Say you want to change the caps lock key. There are two ways to do this. The first one is the direct input. Click on the key you want to remap and then press a key on your physical keyboard. The caps lock will now be assigned to that specific key. And the second option is manually selecting it. If you need to assign a key that isn't on your keyboard, like mapping afro keys on a Wooting 60HE, you can use the search bar in the top right corner of the character tab. Simply type in the key's name or find it in the list and drag and drop it on the desired location. In our case, it's gonna be the caps lock key. And as you can see, you can very easily drag and drop everything everywhere in just a matter of seconds. And if you want to unassign certain keys on your keyboard, let's say you need to disable the Windows key to avoid accidental presses because that can be very annoying, simply right click on the key and it will be unassigned. And of course you can also remap your FN layer by selecting the different layers within Wutility. And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, of course. And if you want to check other tutorials on other features in the utility, then of course, check out the playlist in the description. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.